Well, the Quetta Gladiators and Karachi Kings just faced off. It was a must win, really, for both of them to leave with a little bit of pride in this competition. It doesn't look like Quetta Gladiators will be able to feature in the finals, but Marina Iqbal, you're born in Quetta. You so wanted them to play well, and, you know, they put together a decent performance and they did win today. What did you make of the match? I think they could have done better. That's ex exactly the point. I, I feel that their attitude hasn't been on spot. Uh, they had that opportunity yet again today. They won the toss. I think it wasn't a bad decision to go and have a bat first. They had a decent powerhouse. But again, the approach. I understand the, the, the pitch was a bit on a slower side. It wasn't coming on to the bat, but you need to adjust very quickly. Uh, I did not see even Roy or Vince just going to plan B. Uh, just nudging around, getting some quick singles and then maybe open an avenue to go and uh, get a boundary every over. Yeah. That was the thing, I think around about 8 to 7 overs they took it like nothing is going to happen. They sort of gave up and that's the point where you as a team, uh, you can guess what their character is, what their mindset is. Again, I think that it was a good call to bat first because they got two good spinners. The pitch was going to get a bit more slow, which they could have actually capitalized on it. They won, yes but I think they could have done a bit better. Because well, There was no chance they were going to figure in the finals unless they really went big and tried to amass a big yeah. total. So I guess for you, it sort of felt like they never really took advantage of that or, or tried to give it, give it a go, really. I mean, they started off like they wanted to post 200 plus. That was the case. But then they realized that maybe they're not going to reach that. But again, the question is that you need to adjust. Okay, it's not a 200 total pitch, but what can you get most out of it? They are, they are a pretty, pretty decent bowling side, so they should have gone around 180, should have at least tried to do it. That's my only concern. They were so complacent with whatever's going on, whatever opposition is giving to them. They were just playing according to the field and maybe at the end Roy actually understood and he started to take the opposition on, which should have been a bit earlier. That could have worked. Yeah, absolutely. And obviously if, if Roy is finding it hard to clear the boundary, we know that that wicket wasn't easy today. But, you know, Karachi Kings, Bit of a horrific season for them. It's the only time in the HBL PSL a team's only won one match. They have to go back to the drawing board. What would you recommend to them for next season? I mean, I can't believe Karachi actually lost this match because, yeah, I think, again, it's about realising at the right moments that you're falling behind. Uh, again, it was not easy uh, pitch, but the, the, the way Babur started, uh, we thought that, yes, he might be the one anchoring the innings, but he got out. But again, I think they trended in middle. That's where it affected And At the end, I think Khoram Shazad was spot on with his bowling. Naseem Shah had a huge role to play. The spinners were accurate and they did get some help from the pitch. But again, I think they, that's the moment when Karachi realised that they need to enter their game. It was all gone. Well, plenty of individual positives, but perhaps a lot of questions that need being answered from both these teams today. Unfortunately, the last time we will see Karachi Kings in the HBL PSL 7 and probably the last time we'll see Quetta Gladiators, but today they'll manage to get up across the Kings and notch their fourth win of the season.